Let's see. Thank you, Jesus. Jeremiah chapter 6. Verse 16 reads as follows. Thus saith the Lord, Stand ye in the ways, and see, and ask for the old paths, where is the good way, and walk therein. And ye shall find rest for your soul. But they said, we will not walk therein. And we're going to read the New Living Translation of that same verse. It says, so, so now the Lord says, stop right where you are. Look for the old godly way and walk in it. Travel this path and you will find rest for your souls. But you reply, no, that's not the road we want. Amen. Amen. From this verse, we want to speak this morning. Choose the right way. Yes. Choose the right way. The Lord has been leading me to this scripture for days and days. Woke up again this morning. Opened the Bible. Right back to that same verse. That same chapter. And so we look at that. We have to understand that. Remember it's coming up in the church. I always remember. Those old saints would say there's two ways to go. The right way. And the wrong way. Uh, The broad way. Or the narrow way. Sometimes they would say the wide way versus the narrow way. And then they would say, they would say, you know, that broad road, that wide road leads to destruction. But the narrow way leads to life. And when you think about that and you look at it and you wonder where did they get this from? And the more you look at the scriptures, the more you read the scriptures, you understand that maybe they couldn't grasp the things that the young people today grab with the education that they have and all of the fancy things that we have. You got the websites, you got the internet, you got all these things, cell phones, all of these things that the old people didn't have. But yet, they always had a connection with the Lord. And regardless of what the situation was, they always could direct you to where you needed to be. Yes. Uh, it's a funny thing, whenever a child, it didn't matter whether it was their child or somebody else's child, because back in the day, it didn't just have to be your child. Yes. Because they always gave authority to those neighbors. If you see them going the wrong way, if you see them doing something wrong, it's all right with me for you to straighten them out. Now you notice they always said straighten them out because they knew we were going the wrong way. So it didn't matter if mom or daddy was at home or where mom and daddy was. You were doing something wrong. And those people saw you doing something wrong. They would say, you're doing wrong. Not only would they tell you that you were doing wrong, they'd say, well, I'm going to tell your parents what you were doing. Now not only that, but they say, come here. And at the same time, you back yes. on the straight path. And when I say get you back on the straight path, they had the right to take a switch or belt or whatever they had uh-huh. to put you back in your place. Yes. And then when you got home, later on, mom and dad was going to put you back into your place. Yes. So as we see here, they always said the, the straight road, the, the right road, and you see what God has put in his word right here. This is long before we were born. Yes. He said, the Lord says, stand ye in the way. Stop right where you are. Say, look for the old godly way. Say, because you look for the old godly way, don't only just look for it, but walk in the old godly way. Say, travel in his path. And if you do that, look what it says. says, You will find rest for your soul. With everything that's going on in the world today, everybody's looking for a new way to do everything. 
They promote new ways of all types of everything. Computers come out new every day. iPhones new every day. Cell phone new every day. You, you get one cell phone this week. Next week is old. You need to get a new one because that one's out of date now. Everything is new, but while looking for everything new, they're forgetting about the old way. What was it about the old way? Well, when you got something, you knew it was going to work. When you got something, you knew it was going to last. When you got something, you could have faith that it was going to do what it was supposed to do. You get something new nowadays. Before you get it out the store, you got problems with it. Yes. By the time you get it home, you got problems with it. Yes. It got old cliches. By the time you play the last note on it, then all of a sudden you got problems with it. Yes. But God is saying, walk in His way, yes. and you have rest yes. for your soul. Oh, yes. It takes a bunch to say other words. He's saying, when you walk in my way, you walk in the right way. Yes. That's something you don't have to worry about dealing with. All of those problems, all of them situations and circumstances, not to say that you're not going to have them, but God says, I will take you through them. He says, work in the the right way and not the wrong way. Why is he saying not to walk in the wrong way? Because God knows what happens. When we walk in the wrong way. Yes. When you walk in the, the wrong way, you, you find yourself being caught up with a world of worries. Yes. You ever notice uh, for the young folk, my young brother, something out in the world, everybody wants to direct you to new things and new fans. But yes. yet the minute they get you to it, you find you're always in the trouble. Yes. Oh, yes. You talk about being in the gangs and the gang tell you that we your family, we'll take care that they didn't tell you to do it. See what they do to you if they're your family. Yes. Run the streets, but yet and still, they say everything that is in the streets is better than anything that's in the church. But all of those young men are constantly watching behind them. Yes. Constantly wondering if somebody's coming by to do it. Can't sleep at night without a gun under their pillow. Can't walk at night without looking to see if somebody's creeping up on them. Can't go nowhere. Your obsession. You're obsessed about everything. Yes. 
Uh, I want this, I want that, and whether I'm going to keep this and keep that. I remember all young boys are like this with their vehicles and their cars. You, you clean them up on Saturday night, shine them and wax them and get everything right. Yeah. And it always seems that something, once you clean them up, the next day it either rains or something happens. When you go somewhere, it's raining. Yeah. Or something happens to it. Always remember. Uh, I had my first car and just got through waxing it and cleaning it up that Saturday my daddy got on the lawnmower and started cutting grass. I said, Daddy, why are you waiting to cut grass now? He said, well, I didn't know you were washing your car, but I got to keep my yard clean. And while I'm standing there wiping my car and trying to make sure the dust stands off of it, he, he said, but I tell you what I do, I won't blow no grass towards your vehicle. While he's cutting the grass, guess what? All of a sudden, I hear something go, clean. A rock comes from under the lawnmower and hits the side of the car right on the fender and it's just enough where you can see the dent in it. And I said, oh, daddy. <laughs> Why you had to cut the grass? And I said, it ain't all that to be dealt with, son. He said, let me show you something. Look, get you some paint right there and just, he said, but, I said, but daddy, I know the dent is there. He said, but you cover him, nobody, but daddy. He said, son, it's not about all that. You take it, you fix it, and everything going to be all right. <laughs> and we get in a situation where you're doing wrong, you obsess about everything. Right. You, you, you look at everything, and everything is about it, oppressing you, or doing you wrong, because you're doing wrong. Yeah. You think everybody else is against you. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. When you're caught in wrong, you find yourself in a situation with nothing but, and, 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 and nothing but means nothing but pain. Nothing but frustration. Yes. Uh, all of those things just start adding up all the time. Little things just set people off. It always looks like when the summertime comes, it sounds like people always get a little agitated quicker. It don't take much to trick. When you're doing wrong, it always going to be that way. Wrong means you're going to get in trouble. Not only are you going to get in trouble, but trouble's going to get up to you. Always don't for say don't go looking for trouble because trouble is easy enough to get in and it's going to find you at some point. But when you start doing wrong, there's a guarantee that trouble's going to come your way. The other thing God's saying is he says specifically, he says,